So in order to do solution stoichiometry, you need to be able to convert between the number of moles and the concentration. Um, so over here, I've just got um, just a review, uh, as in last video of the units. Uh, concentration can also be represented as square brackets. So if we're looking for the concentration in ACL, um, I prefer you label the formula like this, but um, it is also quite common just to have square brackets, and that means concentration as well. Uh, and so you just, um, I don't like to use this uh, triangle, but maybe um, if your math is not up to the algebra, um, then you can use this. You can work out what uh, number of moles is, but you cover it up and it'll be CV, C times V. I prefer to um, times both sides by V. Uh, the V's cross out, so N equals C times V. Um, so they're the two main ones you'll be using. Concentration is the number of moles divided by volume or the number of moles is concentration times volume. Now the formula itself, if you do forget it and uh, don't have a formula book that gives it to you, well you should already know that um, one mole per litre is how concentration is represented uh, and so that is simply N and that is a V uh, and so you've already got C equals N on V um, just in the very definition of uh, concentration that you're given in the question. Okay, so let's just go to a practice question. So a solution of, uh, someone's put 2.65 grams of anhydrous, which means there's no waters attached. Um, just generally, if you don't understand a word, you just cross it out. That's the beauty of science. Not very much liked by the English teachers. Um, same with um, uh, cognitive verbs. Just do the question. Don't worry what the cognitive verb is. Um, so basically, I could pretty much ignore all the English in all of this. Um, 2.65 grams of this, uh, 200 mils of water. Um, what's the concentration? I could probably even delete that. Okay, so if all I've got is uh, I've got a mass of 2.65 grams and uh, I need to convert that into number of moles. Um, so number of moles equals mass uh, on molar mass. Uh, and then I have uh, the number of moles, so concentration uh, will be number of moles divided by volume. I've got the volume over here, which is 200, and I've got the number of moles, which is there. Okay, so um, sort of once you get used to this, you can probably delete out every um, letter uh, almost um, besides chemical formulas, and you can probably just guess what the question is asking you for. Um, or replace all the cog verbs with do. Okay, I better be quiet now before I get in trouble. Um, so there we have it. So that's it worked out. Uh, number of moles is mass on molar mass, uh, 0.025. Uh, and so now we can sub that in to C equals N on V, uh, and we get how many moles per liter? 0.125 moles per liter.